Device performance doesn't just depend on age. The operating system in use plays an important role when it comes to the speed of computer startup or the application execution. So regular maintenance can work wonders for you. And in this video, that's what we are going to do. I'm going to show you the options or the ways that you should take to make your Windows 11 faster. So the first tip is to manage the auto start programs. So these are the programs which start as soon as you start up your windows and they keep running in the background. So they are going to help you get the things ready for you as soon as the windows is ready. But obviously there is a trade off and the trade off is the performance. Your system startup will become slower. So the first thing that you should do is to turn off the programs from starting up automatically which you do not use so much. And to do that, you will have to open the task manager. So just right click on the taskbar anywhere and then click on task manager. Now here you have to look for this option that is startup apps. So these are the applications which are starting up automatically when your system starts. So as you can see, I have disabled most of the applications that I feel should not be starting up with my windows and there are some of the applications that i have left enabled because i feel these are the applications which are necessary for smooth functioning of the computer for example itunes mobile device helper if i disable this then the itunes stop working for my iphone then this dragon center is the application for my msi laptop then onedrive is the cloud storage that I use. Then Steel Series is the application which controls the backlit of my keyboard. So in this way you can just make out the applications which are necessary for the working of your computer and for the rest of them you can just disable them. For example this is the acro tray which is for the Adobe applications then this one is also for Adobe. Then this is for helper and then Microsoft Edge internet download manager so these are the applications that i have turned off so this is one way of disabling the auto start programs the second way is by using the run command so you have to press windows plus r key now in the run dialog box i want you to type ms config and hit enter now here on the third tab that is the services tab you can see all the services that are running so now here what you can do is you can click here on hide all microsoft services so this will hide all the services which are provided by microsoft and then after that the services which are left here are from the applications that you have installed on your computer so for example i have turned off this adobe acrobat update service i have turned off the google chrome elevation google update service in the same way you can also make out for the applications that you do not use or you feel that they don't need to be running and if you're not sure about any one of the application then i will highly suggest you not to turn it off so go through the list and uh, look for all the applications that can be turned off and once you are done with that you can just click on apply and then click on ok your computer might ask you to restart your computer you can go ahead and restart so that was the first tip in the second tip, let's clear the memory using the disk cleanup. Now to do that, just hit Windows plus R and then type clean MGR and hit enter. And then you have to select the drive that you want to clean. So I want to clean my C drive, which is the system drive. Then click on OK. Now you have to select the files you wish to remove from the system by placing a check mark in the corresponding box. So as you can see, I have ticked all of the files and then after that, just click here on clean up system files, then click on OK. This is going to boost the capacity of your drive by permanently deleting the obsolete Windows update and log files as well. So you can see we have this Windows error reports and feedback diagnostics. So I'll just tick mark this one also. And then just click on OK and then delete files. Now once that is done, the next thing that you can do is turn off the background apps. 
Now to send information and notifications, Windows 11 runs certain apps such as email client permanently in the background which means even though if you turn off the email application, it's still going to run in the background. This feature comes very handy as it's going to keep refreshing itself for the changes or the notifications but it's going to affect your performance, especially your RAM. So consequently, if you exclude programs for running in the background, you can save resources and make Windows 11 faster. But in Windows 11, you cannot deactivate a feature as was the case with Windows 10. So what you have to do is just open the installed apps. So right click on your start button and then click on install apps. Now from the available list of the applications, you will have to click on applications one by one. Like for example, this is the camera application. So you can click here on the three dots and then click on advanced options. And then under background apps permissions, you can see this app can be run in power optimized mode. So you can click here and then make it to run never, which means this app will never be run in background again. So in this way, you can choose the applications one by one and turn off the background permission for those apps. Now in the next step, I want you to turn off the app notifications. So for that, you will have to open the control panel or the settings. So right click on your start button and then click on settings. Then click here on notifications. Now you can see all the applications that have sent notifications recently. Now to speed up your Windows 11, you can disable these notifications. So you will have to turn off the notifications one by one and make sure to turn off the notifications for those apps which you feel are not necessary for you. For example, I want the notifications of mail app to be turned on but for the PowerPoint or for the Google Chrome, I can turn these notifications off or for the Excel. In the same way, you can choose the applications for which you want to turn off the notifications. You have to do that one by one. Now in the next step, I want you to update your windows because updating windows regularly is recommended for a variety of reasons. First of all, Microsoft regularly closes critical security gaps as part of its update. And on the other hand, the system is provided with bug fixes and optimized code, which automatically increases stability and performance. So let's open the update, right click on your start button and then click on settings. Then here you have to click on windows update on the left panel. Now click here on check for updates. So in this way you can check for the updates and see if there are any updates available for your computer. If there are available updates, then you should go ahead and install them and then restart your computer. Now in the next tip, I want you to defragment your hard disk. To increase the write speed on hard disk, files are normally stored in a scattered manner. During defragmentation, the data storage locations of files on the disk are rearranged so that they are as close to each other as possible. This process is highly recommended for hard disk because when a lot of data is stored in fragmented form, this has a negative effect on access speed. But Windows 11 automatically optimizes solid state drives. So manual defragmentation to optimize the performance of SSD is therefore not recommended. But in case if your computer is running on conventional hard disk, then you should go ahead and do the defragmentation regularly. Now to do that, you have to hit Windows plus R. Then in the run dialog box, you have to type DFRGUI and hit enter. And then depending on which drive is your system drive, you can select that and then click on optimize. And here also you can see that uh, my C drive is the solid state drive. So Windows 11 performs the defragmentation automatically. So it's not required on my part to do it. But for my hard disk, this D drive is the hard disk. It says needs optimization. 11% fragmented. So that's what I was trying to explain. If your computer is running on hard disk, then you should do the defragmentation regularly. But if you are using the solid state drive, 
then you need not perform it because Windows 11 is performing it for you. Now the next step is to use efficiency mode. This efficiency mode was introduced in Windows 11 and it can speed up your computer and improve your laptop's battery life. It lowers the process priority of background applications among other efficiency tricks. But the catch here is that you cannot put your entire PC into efficiency mode. Instead, you use task manager to put individual apps and processes into it. So let's see how we can do it. Let's just open the task manager first. Right click on the taskbar and then click on task manager. Now here you have to select one application first. So let's say I will select this one Microsoft OneDrive. So I'll just click on it and then after that you can see this option efficiency mode. So just click on it and then just click on OK. So now the Microsoft OneDrive is running in efficiency mode. So in this way you will have to look for the applications that you want to put under efficiency mode one by one. And also you will not be able to use the efficiency mode for all the applications. So you will have to click on the application and see if the efficiency mode is available for that app or not. Now the next tip is to use automatic windows maintenance. In the background, Windows 11 constantly performs maintenance on your computer, doing things like security scanning and performing system diagnostics to make sure everything is up to the level and it automatically fixes problems it finds which helps your computer run at its peak performance. The automatic maintenance runs every day at 2 am. Now it depends upon the time that you want it to run at but by default it's at 2 am and your device should be plugged in into a power source and it should be in sleep so let's see how we can do that just right click on your start button then click on settings then under here in the search box you can just directly search for automatic maintenance and then you will find this option change automatic maintenance settings just click on it and you can see my automatic maintenance it's set to run at 2 a.m. and also to make sure that it runs every day you can click here on the checkbox next to this option to allow scheduled maintenance to wake up your computer at the scheduled time so you can click here and then click on ok the next step is to delete the adware the plotware or the viruses which may be present on your computer and which might be affecting the performance of your computer so if you have any antivirus installed on your computer then you can open it or if you are not using any external antivirus then you can use the windows defender which comes out of the box with microsoft windows 11. Since I am using the Norton security antivirus so I'll just open it up and then I will look for scan and I will do a full system scan to let my antivirus search for the possible adware, plotware, virus or any unwanted programs present in my computer so you should also do the same now in the next step I want you to uninstall all the applications or the softwares that you don't use because you might feel that you do not use the application but still it's occupying resources on your computer and the processes of those softwares might be running in the background as well so let's just uninstall those softwares so you have to right click on the start button and then click on install apps and then look for any application that you do not use it can be a game it can be an application it can be anything as long as you don't use it you can just uninstall it like this one microsoft team i don't use it so i'll just uninstall it then i don't use microsoft to do so I will just uninstall this one also and also these applications can be installed later from Microsoft Store so you need not worry about losing these softwares you can install them anytime later so in the same way go through the entire list and look for all the applications that you hardly use and then just uninstall them and then restart your computer and you're going to see a great performance boost now in the next 
tip i want you to change your power settings because your windows 11 computer lets you balance its energy use with its performance so you can just right click on the start button and then click on settings and then click here on power and battery now from here you can see that the power mode is set to balanced so obviously it's going to hurt the performance because in this way windows is trying to balance between the battery usage as well as the performance so if you want more performance then you can click here and choose best performance it's going to increase the efficiency of your computer but it's also going to hurt the battery backup but as long as your computer is plugged in you don't have to worry about the battery usage then in the next step i want you to disable game mode windows 11's game mode optimizes your computer for playing games when it detects that you are playing a game it's going to prioritize the system resources for gaming thereby taking away the resources from other applications and background process now that's a great thing for a serious gamer but when you're not playing games it can also slow down your computer because it keeps some system resources in reserve in case you start playing a game so turning off the game mode will also give your computer a quick boost now to turn it off you have to right click on the start button and then click on settings and then here on the left panel you can see we have this option gaming and then you have to click here on game mode and as you can see it is on by default just turn it off when you want to play a game then you can turn it on but at other times you can keep it off if you are still not happy with the performance that you are getting from your computer then in the next step I want you to disable the shadows animations and the visual effects. Now these options may not affect the performance on the new and the faster computers but they can exact a performance hit on older and slower machines which means if you are using an older machine then turning off the shadows animations and visual effects might increase the performance of your computer. So all you have to do is just click here on the search button and then type sysdm.cpl and just click on it. Now from here you have to click on this tab that is advanced. Under this you will find one option that is performance and under the performance we have this button that is settings. Now once you click on settings you can see that we have different options first one is let windows choose what is best for your computer the second is to adjust for best appearance and the third one is to adjust for best performance and this is the option that we are looking for so you have to choose this option then click here on apply and then ok it's going to turn off the shadows animations and most of the visual effects but it's going to increase the performance of your computer in case you are using an old computer so once you are done with that you can close it. So those are some of the most preferred or used methods or the tips that you should follow to speed up your computer. I hope you liked the content of the video. If you did don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I am going to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.